Hey, buenos dias, que onda, que paso, amigos? Welcome back to the channel, John's Moto Garage. Today I'm doing a rider profile slash spotlight on Gino. I'm gonna put an Instagram link below so you can definitely go give the dude a follow. I'll do a brief intro and then we'll meet him and get into it. So if you don't already know, in the Harley Dyna riding, um, you've got a lot of up and comers, a lot of people just totally tearing it up and destroying it. So this is like the Harley wheelies, the stunts, the drifting, all that kind of thing. Gino, I met through Dom829, which if you're not already, definitely follow him as well. And Dom kind of took him under his wing, showed him the ropes, and Gino just ran away with it. And you can tell watching his riding, the dude is an absolute savage when it comes to the Harley Dyna stuff. In addition to that, just a super cool dude. I was in need of a tire, and him and Dom hooked it up. They got me uh, squared away with a new tire for the Dyna. So anyway, without further ado, we're gonna jump into it. We'll do a walk around of his motorcycle, and then most importantly, we'll check out some clips of the dude tearing it up and having a good time on two wheels. Oh, we've got the Dyna tire totally shot. I mean, technically, I could have worn it out a little bit more. Then we just gotta give her a little smash. Get that bead to go around. Woo! God damn! Oh, Gunshot! Low key, that scared the crap out of me. You need a you need to add a bagger to the mix. We do need exactly. a bagger. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's the next we'll goal. Get rid of that treadmill then. Get rid of that treadmill <laughs> for a bagger. Yo, hit me up. I got a treadmill trade for a bagger. Gotta give that brake a good pump. All right, you guys, John's Moto Garage. Here we are with Gino or Lino or Gino Lino. One of those two. Hit him up on uh, Instagram. He hooked it up today. I'd been like trying to pull out all the stops and get a tire and he hits me up. He's like, dude, I got a fresh brand new tire for you. And he even has the tire machine. So he hooked it up. We got the tire installed. Got a nice and ready. Gonna go rip some freaking rubber now. Go tear it up. Probably go change another tire tonight. How many do you go through a month roughly? I'd say a week, probably three. Three a week? Jeez. A month, like, look, at the, look at the pile over here. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, so Gino doesn't mess around. It's the real deal over here. your weapon of choice here man 2000 dyna super glide she's got the stock what 88 motor in it just got a makuni carb on it put a dynatech tc88 ignition in it and then is that like a must-have upgrade or what's the reason for that typically? i mean if you want it to have like the pop and the limiter you want to get that dynatech tc88 ignition because it'll get it'll give it that like more oomph to it and uh -huh. definitely for like you could do like a cv a stock mob stock carburetor mob to it also but like, I just went and bought the Makuni off of eBay for like 150 bucks and solid. And that'll make it so it's not bogging out when you're yeah, at 12 o'clock. Yeah, really and everything. Because of that snappy that you want and everything it makes it the bike alert and everything. And then Bassani hooked it up on the exhaust. We got that. That exhaust has like helped so much. And then Legends hooked it up on the front and back suspension too. All front and back? Yeah. The drop-in nice. cartridges with the two over tubes from Diamond Lane Cycles, they hooked it up too. Homie Drew from Diamond Lane. My guy. And then... Elite Moto Tech? Yeah. Went and got those from Ramjet. Oh, that's a nice pull, dude. Dude, they're so soft. If, definitely, if you want to get rid of that hard Harley, like, clutch lever, that big bulky, just go buy a little like, yeah. 140 bucks, I want to say, or that more. I put them on mine, yeah. Okay. Custom custom seat embroidered. Saddleman hooked it up. Same with the homie Drew from Diamond Lane. And then Cruzy with the sliders and the crash bar. The sliders in the front, too. Makes it so nice. Oh yeah, those are. I went down Friday night at the show over here. <laughs> Thing slid a good while. Oh yeah, ate it up. Other than that, she's solid though. So all that tank unscathed. Hey, so a lot of dudes think you have to put like ten to fifteen thousand bucks just to get into the dining game. When I bought my bike, I dropped like eleven thousand dollars into it, not knowing what I was getting or if it was the right setup. I just thought it was. Like roughly how much do you think you have into this or how much did you pay for like the canvas? I got the bike from my buddy for I got the bike from my buddy for forty five hundred bucks and then pretty much I would say all in all I'm probably like six or seven grand into it. 
Yeah. Total. So even like high, high end, maybe 8,000 bucks, but it yeah. just goes to show like you can get a solid stunt build for not exactly. too much. Exactly. And this is a, what, it's a 2000 dinosaur. So from like 2000 to 05 is what you want because it has that Timken bottom end bearing in it. And it like completely like changes the whole bike. Like that is like the six speed and this is a five speed. It's up, bro. So like I've blown up the gears now already and had to do the training and this thing is still going strong. Hey, so these are actually preferable over the, uh, yeah. Or new ones. These are like what you want for the stunt game. You can beat these and handle it just like the Sportster. Yeah. Like it's pretty much a Sportster, but it's a Dyna. Dope. But they're way nice. I like it for sure. Dude, I, I missed the load up, bro. That would have that would have been like the highlight of the video, man. I know. A huge shout out to Gino. He totally hooked it up with the new tire, and I'm following him out now. Oh, big pothole. Did not see that. Anyway, I'm following him out to a spot. I don't have my bike, obviously, but I'm gonna try and get a couple clips. See what it's like. See what the session's like with a Cruzy Dom 829 and Gino, so we're sure to see some some gnarly Harley riding for sure.
was quite the sesh that went down. Sadly, my uh, bike obviously is out of commission until I get that tire and wheel reinstalled. But yeah, super gnarly sesh, had a blast out there watching them ride. Hopefully next time I can actually have the bike and be doing a little bit of riding myself. At this point, I cannot even hang close to what those dudes are doing, but it's all about seat time and practice. You don't get to that point without putting in the uh, putting in the hour. So anyway, huge shout out to all those dudes. I'll try to put the Instagram handles down below so you can check it out. And Bam, there you have it again. Huge shout out to Gino and to the whole crew really just for showing me a good time out there at the lot. Stay tuned, I'll be dropping another video here very soon going over the entire session and introducing some of those other dudes because just a really rad group of riders and obviously they're having a good time, they're having fun and they're totally tearing it up, totally tearing it up. So good times for sure. Next, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Like and subscribe if you dig the content and we'll catch you on the next one. Adios, nos vemos.